Hey everyone, Sean here, and welcome to this trailer reaction. This has been this has been a long time coming. The marketing has on this has been something. It's just marketing, I guess, if there was any at all. Uh, but over the last few days, we've had a, quite a bit of clues and hints and uh, heads ups, if you will, on uh, the Sonic Three uh, movie trailer, the official trailer they've all been waiting for and uh, pretty much this is the most important day of our lives <laughs> when it comes to the sonic movies so let's go ahead and give this a whirl i cannot wait to give this um a reaction so let's just go go right into it guys oh boy oh boy all right here we go sonic you finally found your family Try to keep up. I know it hasn't always been easy, but you didn't change who you are in here. Yeah, in my lungs. Or your heart. <laughs> yeah, super serious, guys. It's about to get super serious. There's been a high level security. Oh, here he is. Oh, we need to stop. Immediate assistance. Oh, hello. Project Shadow is far beyond anything oh, man. we've encountered. He looks Shadow's so good. Story began a lot like your Sonic. Oh, there's Maria. Family and friends. Shadow oh, wow. Family pain and loss. Oh, right. man. We got a rogue alien on the loose. How do we find it? Start with the giant fireball? I love it. Let's start with the giant fireball. Let's go to the fireball. Oh, is it in Tokyo? Oh my! Much more impressive than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. You're a colorful bunch. We don't want to fight you. <laughs> there Actually, he is. Sonic, I would like to fight. No, no. Ooh. My turn. Can we just talk about this? Oh my! Wow. Oh my god! It's so good! I can't believe I'm saying this, but we need you know who. This is a bad idea! When does that ever stop me? Doctor! We have visitors. This is sad, Robotnik, even for you. We need Oh her. man. On one condition. Let's do this! If I can't rule the world, I might as well save it! I need room. But sir, I don't have the proper materials. Found some. When we're done, there won't be anything left. Oh, man. His voice is so good. What did you do? What I had to. Oh, that's bike. A bike. Big hero. Oh man. Welcome home, my boy. It's impossible. Is it? It couldn't be. Couldn't it? I am. Are you? In the saggy flesh. Okay. So that's already really strange to me anyway, as someone who has played Sonic Adventure 2 at least. Um, oops, don't know why it's going back to... Okay, I see what's going on. Okay. So... Obviously there are... Sonic, you finally found your family. Okay, sorry about that. Getting a little choppy here. Forgive me. Okay, so it's it's almost perfect so far, right? Like the voice for Shadow, the how he enters and everything, the build up and stuff like that. Now, I will accuse the trailer of pretty much like almost spilling the, the all the beans. Um I hope they actually go to Space Colony Arc and go fight, you know, like bio lizard or whatever and final hazard unless everything is going to take air like take place 
here, like in the city and stuff like that. I imagine a lot of that will take in place in uh, Tokyo. But, all right, uh, sorry about that. I have to actually re-record this session because um, uh, the way I, I had it set up, it wasn't working out. So the analysis part will have to be recorded. So uh, I do have things to say, of course, about this trailer. Um, I, I say it's pretty much nearly, nearly perfect, right? I mean, I think it is perfect for what it is the tr um, for right now. But even perfection has some things that do stick out a little bit. So, um, but first off, Shadow, it, I think his design is done very respectfully. Justice is being done in this, uh, at least in this um, bit here, you know, or this whole trailer. Shadow is just done right. Um, of course, there, even with Shadow, there are some humorous things, like, you know, a colorful bunch and stuff like that, you know, that line. And speaking of lines, right, the voice behind those lines, um, little, yeah, far few in this trailer, but especially by the end, Keanu, I think, is nailing it very much as Shadow. I think he is... Um, perfect for Shadow. And, you know, um, people will say about Keanu Reeves' uh, range of his acting and stuff like that. I mean, say what you will, but um, sometimes even uh, when you pick that per perfect person for certain characters, it really works, right? And I think it really works with Shadow because Shadow is, is kind of like that, right? Now, maybe he'll lighten up by the end of the movie or in the future movies, right? If they'll take it that far. But I think in this case, he fits like a glove, literally for Shadow, right? Because, you know, the Anthros wear gloves, right? For whatever reason. Anyway, so the shoes and everything, um, th these parts are just perfect. You know, as Homelander would say it, perfect. Now this part, this part is, um, while yes, you know, it, it's doing the job of having Maria in the mix here with Shadow, of course. There is some um, importance uh, between her and Shadow. Um, you know, it makes me question, right? Like how they'll interact in this movie because usually in um in the games right i think believe i believe for the most part shadow is out i don't think he'll he was ever in a tank for like testing or anything like that with maria right there um shadow was always out for the most part and you know he's interacting with maria that's how they bond they bonded and stuff like that you know and it makes for a, you know, pretty wholesome scene, um, pretty much, right? Or at least in the people's minds, anyway, the players' minds. My question is, though, um, how much are they going to interact with each other? What's the engagement, right, like? Um, because Shadow is in the chamber, is he going to be in the chamber the whole time? Or just so happens that he's just being tested or something? experiments right and maria's right there to be like hey you know i'm um, giving some insurance uh, assurance like hey everything's gonna be okay I'm, re I'm right here with you kind of thing you know the comfort right that sense of comfort um i think uh though on the other side of things though that being said i feel like they're they are going to just have shadow in the tank the entire time and that's how they're just going to interact which would make it a little lame in my opinion but you know, um, it, it, it will still do the job, but that's definitely not how I, I like to see it. Right. With Maria and shadow. Um, other couple things. Um, I like the fact that they're really playing into the, uh, the trio thing. All right. Sorry about that. My, uh, Mac was kind of acting up on the screen sh uh, sharing or the screen recording thing. So what I was trying to say here was that uh, I really like that 
they're really playing into the uh the, the the trio like team sonic basically or sonic team maybe in this case but um uh you know it, it definitely gives me the the sonic hero vibes which i do like because i'm you know one of the poor suckers that actually likes um sonic heroes i know people have their gripes about it i am one of them that actually liked it what it is right that's just me anyway um so i do like that part you know and then continuing with the fact that they still live with um these two right i forget their i keep forgetting their names but yeah um but you know meanwhile shadow yes he is the one who did not get to experience those things uh too much other than maria right but she was taken away you know as you can see in this in this uh scene right here you, this is um likely the scene where she dies or yeah you know um essentially yeah she dies or you know passes away and everything then because there's uh gerald robotnik right there pretty much um which is funny like that's his earliest appearance in the trailer not so much by the end um and then you know hopefully they'll do this part um right you know with the whole thing with maria and everything and then um i guess they're they are involved with the military so they're they're just like our allies or something with you know team sonic and the in the military or maybe gun um and then yes more of the the sonic trio and here he says um I don't want to fight you actually sonic i would like to fight no. colorful bunch you're a colorful bunch yeah is this something about his voice? Keanu's voice just fits so perfectly for this shadow. It's very, very, very fitting. To say at least. And of course, his abilities, right? I kind of was saying, um, it's interesting to see Shadow actually flying with this rocket's shoes. Like that. Um... Maybe for like limited heights or something, but yeah, I've actually never seen that. But I guess there's a first time for everything. Okay, so this was, um, I addressed this a lot later on in my first take on the analysis, but I believe this is supposed to be Space Colony Arc, which would make perfect sense given its shape and everything. And then it would open up and show off like uh the robotnik face and then shoot the laser right uh will it fire at the moon i don't know <laughs> we'll see about that and yeah there's shadow right there i wonder what this takes place when um he's on the ground like that is it when shadow um breaks free Oh, I just realized he's actually part of Gun. So okay, so there you go. Uh, he joins Gun at some point, gets a three-star ranking of sorts, some sort of officer, maybe rank high-ranking member. So that's pretty cool. So they they like jump forward quite a bit with that character anyway. And then he can activate black holes, I guess, with Shadow. If someone makes it. Um, and then this part seems like, yeah, they're, they're in Britain or in Europe, judging by those cars, right? And this is kind of where, like, they see Space Colony Arc or something, since Space Colony Arc is coming out out of what appears to be, um, like Britain, right? And yeah, oh man, the skating is just the movement, the animations and everything. Oh, it's just perfect. Again, it's like Homelander says, man. Though my this is where my gripes kind of come in. It's the kicks. I kind of wish um they would pack a little more oomph to them because it kind of just looks like he's just pushing them with his foot rather than actually like like that smack. You know, it doesn't have that like that that impact that I'm looking for. 
yeah, because it just so it just looks like he it kind of just like, eh, you know, when yeah, obviously he's being serious with his kicks. Same with here when Knuckles gets kicked up like um, Vegeta versus Cell, second form Cell that is. Boom, like that. It just looks like more like a push, like a nudge more than anything. So a little bit of gripes there. But other than that, the way he moves and stuff like that, Shadow, you know, uh, pretty nice. There is Dr. Eggman's or um, Dr. Robotnik's assistant right there, as always, looking, trying to look cool, you know. But then you have Eggman. Once again, coming into play. I kind of forget what happens to him exactly, but whatever. He was hiding. He shows up. Yes, he's fat. Which is supposed to be a thing with Dr. Eggman anyway. So he's taking more of, of what we know of Dr. Eggman or Robotnik. Right. Although the hair is a little weird, but yeah. Then. Yes, you know, Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. It's such a, it's still mind blowing that Jim Carrey is the one to be, to be Dr. Eggman. It, it, it kind of works somehow, right? Like, even though Jim Carrey, acute, you know, people accuse him of, of him just being himself. It kind of works with Dr. Eggman because he is wacky himself. But it's it definitely it's his own brand of wacky. And then, you know, Jim Carrey has his Jim Carrey wackiness with Dr. Eggman. But he still kind of like checks off the uh, lists for Eggman in a way. You know, maybe 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 in the future games they'll they'll have Doctor Eggman, Eggman be more wacky and stuff, but definitely not in Sonic, Sonic Frontiers, is that because that game that whole game is a lot more serious. But yeah, and then this part I kind of don't get. It's like I need more room. He tears off his shirt. Maybe he needs more toilet paper or something. I don't know. Right. More TP. Yeah. Uh, this part, maybe he's powering up the um, the generator for the. He's powering up the space colony arc. Hopefully, assuming that is a thing. And there's something going on with the tower or something. Maybe he's uh doing it in the tower rather than the colony. Oh yeah, and then. That whole, this whole sequence right here. Hold on with Shadow's lines. Hey, no cheat code. Done. They... When we're done, there won't be anything left. Hey, no cheat code. What did you do? What I had to. Yep. Yeah. That whole part was pretty cool. What I had to. <laughs> you know, that whole that whole line right there was pretty cool. Yeah. The look of Shadow is just so well done to um adapt it into this verse, right? This 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 universe, right? But make him at the same time tasteful. It pays respects to the character. You know, it's it's Shadow, right? When you look at him, it is Shadow. He has all the check marks and everything. He's got the look. The expressions are there. You know, I definitely like it. And then he's even like riding a bike here for some reason, but he's riding a bike. You know? Um, what did you do? What I had to. Yeah, so that part looks like he just came out of the chamber when he's all like wet and everything. Let me see. Uh, 
Um, let me see. She. Yeah, so you got the Akira reference right there with the bike. Is it the same bike? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, right there. Kind of appropriate because of the sparks in his eye, right? Yeah, it looks like he just came out of the chamber, so that's kind of cool. But you get to see, like, the wet fur effects right there. And then, of course... The elephant in the room to me is this guy right here. This is Gerald Robotnik, which first off, I think the look is very um, appropriate, you know, again, very um, well adapted into this verse, right? This multiverse, not multiverse, excuse me, this cinema verse, if you will. It, you know, lo definitely looks like a doc um, Gerald Robotnik for sure. And yes, he is the grandfather of uh, Robotnik. Um, in this mo movie verse, it does make sense because um, you know, robot uh, both Robotniks live on Earth, whereas um, Doctor Eggman in the games, well, especially in Sonic X too, um, as well. Uh, Robotnik lives with. Son in Sonic's world, right? And and he's supposed to be human. Right? And then somehow he came from Earth. But I guess that really depends, right? Of how you look at Dr. Eggman. But here, um, he's alive. Like he like he's supposed to be dead. He was um, you know, he 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 was incarcerated, quote unquote, right? If that's the right term for it. Arrested, whatever. And, um, you know, he was extracted after that incident when uh, Maria died and stuff like that. Um, he was imprisoned. He wrote a lot of things on the walls and everything. He went crazy. He went insane and plotted uh, revenge and uh, pretty much like cursed, right, humanity in that recording or that tape. Um, and he swears revenge, right, for um, his daughter, right, or granddaughter, whatever. Um. So yeah, um, him being alive is interesting because he was executed right after that recording, right. So I wonder what the, what they'll do with him, right? Like other than, um, yeah, he'll probably betray betray his grandson kind of like manipulate him to help him to sort of get his revenge plot going to um seek vengeance for um uh maria right against all of humanity or mankind now obviously with eggman here he wants to rule the world um and he says you know if um if I'm going to rule the world, I have to save it, right? So already a big hint there. But I think he also always has been not so much of a mass killer, so to say. He just wants to rule the world. And, you know, what's what's a rule or what's a world to rule or a kingdom without its people, right? So. Yes, they hug it out, all that stuff. Movie is coming in December, right? Not exactly, right? Um, with the with the date, still kind of open, right? Is it beginning of December, end of December? Is it Christmas? We don't know. Uh, but yeah, it does make me wonder though how how back to the story, how how far they're going to take it, right? Will they mention Black Doom and that whole Black Alien race? Um. Is Shadow going to be part Black Alien? Is Shadow just like Sonic in a way? Um, you know what I mean? Did they pull him from Sonic's world and then have him in the chamber or something and enhance him and everything? I don't know. Uh, with like you know the with Black Black Doom's blood, who knows? Uh, where's Rouge, right? Because Rouge is supposed to be appearing around the same time as Shadow. Because that's when she was introduced as well. 
Rouge, I feel, is going to appear in the post credits, right? And then we have, assuming that we have all the big battle and everything, hopefully we have space, space, space colony arc. Hopefully we have bio lizard, right? And then final hazard. And then we have the big battle, right? With super sonic, super shadow, live and learn, blasting the theater. And then after that, shadow, shadow sacrifices himself, falls to the earth. And in a post credit scene, Rouge finds, you know, um, Shadow pretty much with maybe Shadow off screen or something. Probably, right? Um, maybe at that point, Rouge will be working with Gun as like an undercover agent, kind of like how they did it in Sonic X in a way. Um, or she's just a, a thief, right? They could go either way with her. And maybe just just like a little extra push, maybe they'll also introduce Amy by post credits as well. You know, running into Sonic and, and his team and everything, thus making the uh, you know like the the uh, what do you call um the the team for um oh god what was that game what was that terrible game for Sonic um it had stick the bat. No. They had stick in it. One way or the other. Um, it's not Sonic Rush. It was, it was, um, oh my god. That name is escaping. It is escaping me. Okay. Sonic Boom. That's what it was. Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. And then there was a TV show out, uh, surrounding that. Yeah. Um, okay. Sonic Boom. I finally found the name some, uh, somehow, and it took me somehow that long. Anyway, it was uh, the team for Sonic Boom, right? Completing that team with Amy in it, right? That'd be pretty cool um, for future movies and such. So that pretty much like sums up my sort of analysis slash thoughts on it. Um, I think the movie of itself will be good. It really winds down to the music and the the set pieces, right? I hope they do all the basic like set pieces from the game, right? Of Sonic Adventure Two, including Space Colony Arc. You know, they don't have to include every every freaking level like Metal Harbor or something like that, but um, they gotta do the music. And those set pieces, I think that's really what it comes down to. Because all these other parts are cool, you know, they're pretty much what they are, right? Building up the plot, getting through the plot, all that stuff, right? Especially with Shadow, our boy, right here. Um, it really winds down to those. It's only going to be disappointing and not so much like on the bad side or anything like that. I think that's where this movie is going to go. So. It has little room to screw up other than the same things I said. At least that's my analysis on it anyway, or perspective on it. Um, if they once again throw in those weird soundtracks and stuff like that from artists and whatever, I can only just roll my eyes to it. Um, but if they actually blast the sonic music, right, absolute absolute cinema right for a sonic fan so that's pretty much all they can they could do to at least win me over anyway but what do you guys think of um this trailer of sonic uh sonic the hedgehog 3 i keep trying to say sonic adventure the movie or something sonic adventure 2 the movie but that's pretty much hopefully what this is at least checking off the basic um check marks anyway the basic notes of it and hopefully it'll do the job so um they get thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in to hear my thoughts about uh this trailer anyway how my uh, how i see it what are you guys reactions are you guys really excited for shadow um do you guys think keanu reeves is really nailing shadow or do you think otherwise you know i mean 
um, you know, again, say what you will about Keanu Reeves with his acting range, but I think it definitely fits well with Shadow, right? I think it's really um, half of the battle in movies is picking the right people, right? So, um, 